Hey there, this is ReadFreak7, and I'm going to show you another method of stabilization. In the last video I made, I showed off a sway bar, which was useful for stabilizing four-wheeled vehicles. This vehicle, though, only has two. So, how do we stabilize it? Here's a method for that. So, we're gonna build a system that it's a glitch, basically, but it is a very useful glitch. It's used in a whole lot of creations. You will see lots of things using this glitch if you play this game a lot. So we're going to put that on there. We're going to need two sensors on here. Whoops. There we go. So we got those two sensors, and now we're going to need four controllers. Or we only need three but it's more symmetrical if you use four, so that's why I'm using four. So we're gonna link one of these guys to both of these, and I need both of those, okay, positive, negative. So I want these to angle down, let's try 45 degrees. So we got 45 degrees on those. Oh, uh, why are this not spinning? Oh, I put it in the wrong column, sorry. And I don't need that. There. So now those have rotated down. Yep. Okay, now we're going to build the actual glitch. This glitch utilizes bearings, suspension, and just normal blocks, as well as the controllers. So we're going to build these guys on here. So you're just going to place a bearing like that, a uh, wood block, and then your suspension, then a wood block on the end of that suspension. It's okay if it's flopping for now, that's okay. Uh, when you actually connect all of this up, you'll want to put it on a lift so it doesn't start rolling around. That's, it can happen. So you put that on there, going to put this guy on here, and this guy on here. Cool, so we got both of those. Now I'm gonna put this on the lift while I connect these up. So, basically, whenever this thing rotates down, so this block is running into this frame, it, the whole vehicle will rotate that way. And the opposite for the other one. So, we wanna hook those up to the correct sensor so it will rotate the way we want it to if that sensor turns off. So let's set these sensors to about four, and we can play around with this a bit. On your own creation, you can play around with this till you get it just how you want it. You can play around with the angle on this guy here. You can play around with all sorts of things. You can play around with the angle we're gonna set to these guys as well. So I'm gonna put that on there. And I'm going to connect, okay, which way do I want that one? So that's pushing down. I want, yeah, I want this one. I want this one to go that one. So I'm going to set these to five degrees. That works for me usually. You can do what you want to, though. Uh, oh, it needs to be negative. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to set the other one. Uh, yeah, we'll that one. Okay. And that needs to be negative as well. Okay, now let's take this off of here. There we go. That's pretty good. That keeps it stable. It rocks a little bit. Let's see, maybe if I set this to 5... That may improve. Nope, not really. Let's put those back to four. Yeah, four's better. Cool. So, did I get one of these wrong? I feel like one of these is off. Now, oh, whatever, it works fine. So now when I drive this around, I still can't steer, which I'll fix later, but it doesn't fall over. 
So let's get off of here. And now let's fix the steering problem. So now that our vehicle is somewhat stable, which, again, you can tweak that more and get it just how you need it, we're going to build the steering. So this isn't going to look too pretty. If you are actually building this sort of system, you can hide it away somewhere where you won't see it, but I'm just doing this to show you guys how it works. So the steering's a little easier. You don't really need controllers or anything. You just need one of those. Make Note that the bearing's flat to the ground, so that way it can spin and cause the vehicle to move left or right. So I can just hook that up to there. And that's actually all I need to do. So, a lot simpler. Um, okay. So now, you see, I can just turn my vehicle. And it won't fall over. I have steering. There you go. And if you want the steering to be sharper, you can build another unit and connect it to the steering as well. Or you can do some fancy stuff with controllers, but... Eh, that's a little more complicated. So, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, that's our tutorial for this little bike thing. Yay. See you guys next time.